Hello and welcome to Be Made in Revit tutorials. In this Revit tutorial I would like to show you a couple of simple solutions on how to connect the staircase with the best concrete slab, as well as how to calculate the amount of concrete that we will be uh, that will be used in the staircase. If you already have experience with Revit, then you must have faced the problem of connecting the stairs to best, uh, to best concrete slab. Stairs in Revit have a parameter for connecting to the best concrete slab, but unfortunately, it is not the rectangular shape that we need in most cases. Just to mention before we start, in the previous tutorial, I showed a few tricks how to make a perfect connection of stairs with top concrete slab. Now you can see it in, in this video. I will share the link with the previous tutorial in the description and comments of this video. To make it easier for you to follow this tutorial, I made all the concrete elements red color. Now here you can see the stairs I modeled in previous tutorial. And uh, in, in, short, in short, just to tell you, uh, here we separate uh, the stairs in two parts because of landing, as you know, is st uh, in Revit, uh, stairs allow us to use only one landing. So if we change the thickness of the landing in, on top, in the same time, uh, the landing in the middle uh, will be changed and uh, here you can see uh, how we uh, so solve the problem uh, with two separate parts of stairs and with numbers of stairs uh, on the ground floor and on the first floor here you can see in uh, in more details you can watch the the previous the previous tutorial there are um, uh, all steps one by one how to create this kind of stairs uh, and in the previous tutorial i showed you how to uh, do this kind of connection with best concrete slab here you can see we have a, a slope the shape and it is simple, just go to edit stairs and here you have a parameter. Okay. And you just need to uh, add the value of, of the thickness of the floor elements, floor layers. In this case, that is uh, 15 centimeters. Okay, if it's zero, you can see the changes. This is one of the solutions, but if you need a rectangular shape, uh, we will use a different, different method. The method I'm showing you now, uh, you can use for uh, 2D drawings. Uh, it won't appear in, in 3D, it will be visible only in uh, 2D drawings. You can see here we have perfect connection, rectangular shaped. But if we go to 3D view, it won't be visible there, as you can see. And now I will show you one trick how to solve this problem and in the same time I will show you how to calculate the amount of concrete that we will use for this kind of stairs. Okay, we are going on ground floor and for this purpose we will use the model in place. Here we will use the floor element I will call it stairs the important thing of this method is how to calculate the 
amount of man material uh, that will be calculated with other parts of the stairs. We want this joint part I'm modeling now uh, to be calculated uh, together with uh, other parts of the stairs. Okay. Now we will model this. We will stretch this. Okay. Uh, I will add the material parameter here. I will create a new one. Material. Okay. And now I will I will join this part of stairs, but before that I will uh, add the material I've created before. Uh, our red concrete material. Okay. And now I will join it. Okay. When you change the uh, the order of the of the joining or oh, for example if you uh, first if you click the red material then the floor layers uh, our red part will cut the floor layers and here we will use the this tool using invisible line we will hide the joining parts and now i will show you how to calculate the amount of material but before that we here we use the floor uh, element when when i when i model this part and now i will change it in stairs because for calculating uh, the this this amount of material we need uh, this part to be same with stairs and now I will add the mark for stairs it will be the same mark okay stairs and now we will we will calculate the uh, amount of material of concrete material that will be used for this stairs okay now we will use the mark and we will use the volumen you can add the level if you have more than one stairs if you have, have uh, more than uh, two floors, you can use the floor parameter. And now you can see. Here we have the amount of concrete material. Uh, now I will close the necessary windows. I will leave only schedule, material takeoff and uh, 3D isometric view. Just to show you how the changes follow if we delete this uh, rectangular part of the stairs. okay values and now you will see uh, with this method you can control the 
uh, element for which you uh, calculate the amount of materials if you press the uh, in schedule if you press this part the uh, material you calculate uh, will uh, appear in blue okay now you can see the changes if we delete this part it uh, the amount of material will will change okay just one more time if if we delete this part here the amount of material will change okay and that's it you can as i said before you can use uh, two methods one method is is perfect if you need only a graphic drawings but uh, in that case uh, we, we the part the connecting part uh, won't appear in 3d view and it won't, won't appear in schedule the second method is complete you will have a connecting part and you uh, will have the amount of complete amount of material that will be used for the stairs and uh, when you model the stairs properly you can create this kind of uh, 3D presentation in a very simple way so uh, now you can see here different types of presentations and dear friends uh, this is this is all for this tutorial w only one thing left i uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to share my tutorials with uh, your colleagues and friends all right this is all for this tutorial tutorial uh, see you in the next one.